Hello everyone. Welcome to Gardening for Better Health. This is Henry B. 723 coming to you today from my kitchen. Well, I hope you're having a great day where you are. We're doing wonderful here. We've got sunshine and blue skies and it's unseasonably warm. It's supposed to get to be 70 degrees today uh, on October the 21st. So we're really, really happy for uh, this particular day. I wanted to share something with you back in the spring when I was planting my garden I bought some Kushaw seeds and I was taking you along with me as I planted my Kushaw and gave you updates on how it grew and I wanted to let you know that the Kushaw is finished as we saw in the last Kushaw video I have a playlist on my channel that shows you how I went from Kushaw seed to how it grew and how I harvested it and now it is ready for me to actually eat my pie that I've been trying to get. I started in May uh, with this Kushaw. I'd never had Kushaw pie before but everybody had told me how absolutely wonderful it was. So I had to grow some to see if it was as good as they say it. Well, I tell you, it has been a journey going from this to this. This is the finished product, Kushaw Pie. And as you can see from the thumbnail, I actually have four pies that came from one Kushaw. And I'll tell you the status of those five, four pies. <laughs> the first one, uh, my daughter and I taste tested it and it was absolutely wonderful. I usually put whipped cream on pies, like, you know, um, when I'm doing uh, sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie, I usually put whipped cream on top and eat it that way. We tasted this Kushaw and we decided it needed no whipped cream. As a matter of fact, there was no way to actually make this pie taste better. If anything, the whipped cream would have probably distracted from the flavor of the pie. The pie tastes a lot like uh, sweet potato pie and pumpkin pie combined and then up to the next notch level in taste. That's how wonderful this Kushaw pie is and it was well worth the wait. But getting back to what happened to those four pies, <laughs> my daughter and I taste tested the first one and um, over the course of two days, that one was gone. <laughs> my son came over and I had him taste some pie I gave him his own pie to take to his house, which he was really glad about. And he said, you're gonna have to grow more Kushaw next year. <laughs> and I promised him that I would. Um, the third pie, and this is the fourth pie here. Uh, the third pie I'm going to cut up in slices and put in the freezer so that we'll have some for later. And then I have friends coming over um, tomorrow for dinner and then we will have this pie uh, ready for my friends tomorrow so i wanted to share that with you i did not have my own recipe for kushaw so i went online and i looked up kushaw recipes and i found this recipe for this particular pie online it's um on the site that says all recipes old-fashioned Kushaw pie and let me make sure I can get you to the right site I think it's if it printed out here on this sheet I'll be able to tell it to you no I didn't print at the bottom of the sheet but the website is all recipes and they have recipes for any number of things that you might want to prepare. And they had this old fashioned Kushaw pie recipe on their site. The ingredients uh, were absolutely spot on. 
I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't add anything to their recipe. So if you have some cushion and you want to make a cushion pie, uh, please refer to the All Recipes website if that's what you want to do, or there are any other number of websites that might have the recipe for it. Um, I'm not sponsored by All Recipes by any means, but you know, take a look. The All Recipes uh, ingredients really, really work to make my pie special and I will be making more because as you can see I've got one more cushion left to prepare so um, I'll make that maybe in a week or so and just go ahead and freeze it so that I'll have some uh, around for the holidays so I just wanted to share that with you I'm gonna put um, my my playlist link in the description so that you'll be able to go to the playlist and see exactly what happened from seed and how it developed and how it was harvested and how it got in the house <laughs> to make this pie. So that's what I wanted to share with you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.